You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that began with, when we're married and continued with, I will and you will and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more <laughs> are the real process of a wedding. All right. Dear Ashley, I can't believe the big day is finally here. These last five years with you have absolutely flown by, and I can honestly say that they have been the best years of my life. I still vividly remember our first date at Harrison's and the first time I saw you. Even though we had our fair share of beers and shots, getting to know you that night and every day after has been absolutely amazing. You are by far the most caring and generous person I know, and every day I'm amazed by how smart and down to earth you are. Brad, I can't believe our wedding day is finally here. Today I can call you my husband as we celebrate with all of our friends and family. You already know this, but due to growing up with divorced parents, I have a pretty skewed perception of marriage. I never really thought it was a possibility for me, and I didn't feel like I was good enough to find that lifelong love in person. And then, just when I least expected it, you came into my life through a really thoughtful Tinder message. I wish I saved the message, but I do remember <laughs> you tried to guess where I was and what I liked to do based on my pictures. That was the first time you made me feel special, and I hadn't even met you yet. <laughs> Since that moment, you have made me a believer that I am worthy of that great love. You know I'm here. <laughs> I turn this way? <laughs> hey, look amazing. Yeah, I love everything about you from your random french fry cravings to how you cover your ears when you're watching a scary movie. Now, I'm incredibly lucky to be able to spend the rest of my life with you. Starting this lifelong journey of marriage and starting a family with you makes me unbelievably happy and excited. I can't wait to see all of what life has in store for us, and I know that there are many great things in store for us in the future. I love you more than you'll ever know, and I can't wait to see your beautiful face in a couple hours. You are kind, caring, funny, and so, so smart. You are the best dog dad to Koopy, and I know you'll be an amazing father to our future children. Now I know life together won't always be sunshine and butterflies. We'll have rough days and there will even be times we can't be in the same room together. But I also know there's no one else I would want those times with. We've been through a lot over the past five years and because of that I know you are my person and we can accomplish anything as long as we're together. I didn't ever want to live without you and now you're stuck with me forever. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Ashley. He called me up. Of course, this was, what, 16 months ago, a year and a half. It's been a while. But he asked me out to go to dinner, and we went out, and you can imagine what it might have been for. You know, a lot of class on his part. So we had our dinner. Everything worked well. We actually talked. It was really good. And I told Brad there's only two things important to me. Uh, keep her safe, number one, always, and keep her happy. And that leads me to my toast. Um, my toast is, may you find happiness every day that you two can share together for the rest of your lives. They always say younger sisters look up to their older siblings, but for me, it's always been the opposite. First, you've taught me to be grateful for every day and to seize every opportunity that comes your way, no matter how scared you are. You've taught me that it's really not that funny to give your number out at bars when guys ask me for mine. <laughs> you've taught me sincerity, generosity, and loyalty will lead to a life full of lasting friendships as you're surrounded by many of your friends today. 
Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it for forever. You don't necessarily have to have a ceremony to have a marriage. When you think about it, the whole thing is kind of strange, right? You're standing up here looking fancy, holding flowers, and being stared at by basically everyone who has ever meant anything to you. <laughs> so why do we do it? The marriage ceremony has been an important tradition across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. There are thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so critical we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. But trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the words we have to write stories and poems and songs about love, and even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it, and we see it here. Ashley and Bradley, you have united two families and two sets of friends. I ask them now if they will support your marriage with joy, love, and optimism. All those who wish to promise their support say, I do. <laughs> with the blessing of everyone who is present here to today and with the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Bradley, you may kiss your bride. And lastly, you've taught me that blind dates can sometimes lead to a lifetime of love and happiness. So Ashley and Brad met, as many millennials do, on somewhat of a blind date. Um, and I actually lived with Ashley at the time. I just remember coming home and Ashley was kind of getting ready and she said she was gonna go grab a drink with a friend, or a new guy. She was gonna grab a drink with a new guy. And then all of a sudden she gets to the door and she kind of stands there and she's like, I don't think I'm gonna go. So I did what any good sister would do, and I basically helped her form an escape plan, <laughs> right? <laughs> so she was gonna text me some code word, I was gonna come up with some elaborate scheme, disaster that made her need to leave immediately. Um, took a little bit of convincing, you're welcome Brad. <laughs> but she did end up going on that date, and I'm sure none of you are surprised, but that escape plan was never enacted. Um, I actually ended up uh, texting her like a couple hours in just to make sure everything was going okay. And I just got a couple smiley faces in return. I know that you are everything to Brad. He, he, you mean the world to him. You mean the world to me now. And I, I would not want to be anywhere else other than right here. And to that point, um, everybody raised their glasses. I love these two. I'm excited to continue this journey and see where it goes from here. Congrats.